What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, there's a new rotation for Cursey, and this means we're all getting free gear removal costs. Um, it's for two days and a bit. We need to make the most of this. And the thing that I really want to look at for Cursey is um, Amos, the Lunar Archon. So we beat him quite comfortably in the first rotation. Um, and these are the champions that we can use this time. So we're going to use champions from Undead, Sacred Order, Ogun Tribe, Skinwalkers, and High Elves. So I'm going to go through every faction, try and pick up as many champions as I can. Of course, if I do miss someone, please let me know in the comments below. It is going to be difficult to try and get all of them out of all five factions. You know, it's probably a good 200 champions. Uh, key things we want to look for are champions that bring poisons, poisons explosers. You know, they did so much work for us uh, in the last fight. Um, and I still think it's a great way to go. Um, hill reduction as well. That is probably the biggest thing that, you know, the most important debuff that we can bring to this fight. And you've got to time it properly to take the boss down. Uh, cleansers, block debuffs as well. Any champion that can cleanse and block debuffs, it's going to be huge for the fight. Healers as well. And then ideally some sort of champion that can tank that A1 hit in his second form. So Eleanoral, first champion is a poison exploder. I think she could definitely be used. She will do a lot of damage. You know, she throws a lot of poison. She's obviously going to explode them as well. She is a great option. And she's also bringing a HP burn as well. So she, I think she definitely has potential. So Isolin. So this is a new champion. Just look at her kit. I don't feel like they're going to be a good choice for this fight. Even though they are bringing quite a lot of stuff. Maybe if you time it right. I mean, they do have ally protection, which can be really useful for this fight. Shuramani is a great healer, but we don't want to be bringing in continuous heals. If you time it wrong, it's not going to be helping you. Now, guys, I just want to say a disclaimer right now. I am dyslexic. I have a problem with reading and pronunciation. And I'm going to butcher this guy's name. So it's Lonera Thrill. Lonera Thrill. Lonera Thrill. I, I, that's close enough. So anyway, I, uh, this guy is an ally attack champion. So increased damage, and then everyone's going to pile in on the boss. This could be a good way to just build one of those team comps that just annihilates the boss in like four turns. But also you could actually just use him in general. Like you know, he's bringing shields, which give us survivability, and he does do a decent amount of damage. So it could be a good way to sort of speed up the fight. So he is a potential. Who else is looking tasty on the list? <laughs> to Tatura. I am not a fan of this champion. I know so I think she's a champion that people love or hate her. Um, but she does bring in block debuffs. So again, there's a champion that could be potential. She also does bring in decreased accuracy as well. So quite useful there. Mm, Royal Guard does do AoE damage. Could 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 be a potential. For, for bringing in some, for, yeah, bringing, bringing in as DPS. Um, also, I think any champion that can bring in decrease um, attack as well, because that's what I was doing in the last fight. Um, I was bringing in decrease attack. Um, I think Uko is available this time, so I probably will use Uko for that. But that was forcing the boss to use the A3, and that was great. I mean, it did help a lot. Um... But yeah, no, I don't feel like there's too many champions that I'll be using from High Elves. Sacred, okay, we're skipping Mythicals. Uh, you know, I don't have that. I think most people aren't going to have Mythicals, so we'll give that a good skip. I think, yeah. So yeah, so Corvus, potentially another Poison Champion. And he's tanky as well, so he would be a great option for this boss. Uh, Holstring as well like, i know this guy can sort of do he can be really good for fire knight yeah but a lot of people i think he's not rated that highly so let's ignore him marta so i used valkyrie in the last fight she was a great option and um, so the counter attack helps us so much um you know it's just if you can bring in champions that have great a1s they'll just constantly pop off like pythion was great with this because he was just constantly healing throughout the whole fight 
Um, she also has a decreased defense as well. So that means we have a good chance to land a lot of decreased de uh, defenses. We can do loads of damage to the boss and she could be our tank as well, just like how I was using Valkyrie. And yeah, the counterattacks as well, they just help chip away on the boss. So yeah, Archbishop is going to be huge for this fight if you've got him. He is bringing that heal reduction. Also block buffs as well. Very tasty. Um, Venus. So if you have Cupidus and Venus, this would be an insane combo. Um, you know, she can actually start to strip. Strippers are great for this boss. And I know you're thinking, not that kind of stripper. I mean, people that are going to strip the buffs off the boss. And yeah, she can do that. She's also bringing uh, drop defense and weaken as well. And Cupidus can just start popping off like every time that, um, you know, someone in the team's hit. Uh, <laughs> he's always going to be counterattacking with his A1. So build him a little bit tanky, but at the same time, bring in some decent amount of DPS. Just, he can just be super slow um, and he will just do insane damage with his A1. So that could be a nice little combo that we could use. Cardiel, how can we forget Cardiel? Um, not only is he cleansing, putting out block debuffs and revive on death, obviously you want to try to avoid dying on this boss in his second form because he gets stronger and stronger every time he kills someone. But we are bringing in a revive on death as well, which can help. Uh, but yeah, he also does ally attack, uh, sorry, ally attack with increased uh, crit rate and crit damage as well, which could be huge and doing insane amount of damage. So yeah, I think another great option there. Cool, just looking at the epics, I cannot really see anyone that stands out. Do you know, I've never, I've never used Missionary. I've always been more a fan of Doggo style. Oh, but he does have a heal reduction. So there could be a champion that we could use. He's also bringing in that decrease attack as well. But is that conditional? Attacks on enemy, places provoke. Pro -da -da -da. Yeah, so he can play um, decrease attack, but it's a bit it's a bit of a weird one. Yeah, so missionary, who would have thought it would be one of the options that we could use? So I'm just looking, there's yeah, just seeing if there's any more like poison champions. Cardinal, I don't think she's gonna be great here. I mean, she does have a decent heal on A2. Again, like one of the best revives in the game, but do like we know, I don't really want to be relying on her revive. On her revive, I don't, want to, I don't want to be relying on that. Shemuel could be a good option. Like obviously, great turn mate, a booster can do some decent damage as well. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of him. God seeker. So obviously, great healer. Um, you know, heals on the A1, heals on the A2, and she's got that. That insane passive with the revive and also she can revive with 50% turn meter uh put skills you know reset sk uh, skills and bring in hp and turn meter i just think she, she's a great option but if i was going to bring her in for this fight obviously well, we want to make a tanky at least 60k hp but i'm thinking i'd probably go for your curing set just to bump up her healing so um ogan tribe is next Biggin. So War Mother, War Mother has potential. She, like, you know, I think bombs are still, a like, if you, you got poisons, but bombs are great as well. And, yeah, I think she could do some serious damage to the boss, bringing that decrease attack again. Yeah, so I think, I think she's a great option, and she deals 100% more damage against bosses as well. War Mother, 100%. <laughs> Gerda Bogbrew. So another poison champion that we could potentially use. Mine is still not being fused. Um, still sitting in the summon portal. But yeah, another another great option. Koruga Deathbell um brings that ally protection. I think this could be a great place for him to shine. Blizzard. So again, another ally protection champion. That we could bring in gorgo can strip if my memory serves me correct i'm sure i'm sure he can strip i'm sure he's oh yeah here we go yeah on the a2 he can strip yeah so he's a stripper too 
And then, yeah, we've got these two new champions. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of their kits. That's not good. No, not a good option. Yeah, I don't feel like they're, they're not. This fight's not for them. So Ugo, again, she's bringing that block debuffs and drop defense. She can sort of, sort of, sort of cleanse and she heals as well. Skull Crusher. So again, we've got another champion that can bring in those current attacks. Unkillable, ally protection. Um, I, I do like Skull Crusher and I feel, you know, most people just use him for like an unkillable team comp for Clan Boss, but build him tanky. He could be used for this fight. Wooza. Mm, nah, I don't think so. Not for this one, mate. Oh, actually, what was that in the passive? No, that's that's not an option from me. Oh, Skrank. What are you saying? No, that's another no from me. Eurogrim, though, I think could be a great option. So cleanses, um, throws out poisons, and we've got continuous heal. Um, does a big heal as well. And throws out more poisons on the A1. Definitely, definitely a great option. I think might have to bring in two cleansers for this fight. But yeah, Eurogrim, great option. Skinwalkers. So Longbeard, great ally attack champion. Doesn't bring much else though. But yeah, definitely useful. Hackhorn. Um, I'm yeah, this champion can cleanse and brings out block debuffs as well. Um, so yeah, great, great option. I'm sure you could build a team around Razzle. Um, I don't. I, this is a fusion that I skipped. I know he's an absolute boss for finite. Can even be used for hard ten. So I'm definitely feeling like there's definitely a team that you could build around him for this boss. Uh, he's just crazy when he starts popping off that speed boost. Bamus. Hmm. The Enfeeble. I wonder how good that would be against this boss. Again, it was a champion that I skipped. Um, I just felt like there wasn't enough for me. I don't know. In the past, like when Hex became, like was first released, Polarium released all these Hex champions and they weren't really being used. They didn't really bring a lot. I know they are now, but at the time they weren't. So I just felt, is this going to be like a new Enfeeble champion that we just, they're not going to get much playtime. Uko, MVP. Um, bringing that like one of the best revives in the game, block buffs, and she strip no and he strips, and of course that all important decrease attack that forces that a free. The Rat King, Venom Lord, uh, I will probably put him in my team. Uh, just the bombs, so many bombs, so much damage, um, and also yeah, and then we get poisons that are protected afterwards. I think he's going to be great for Bommel, uh, for Bommel, <laughs> for, 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 uh, for Amos. I think he's going to be a great option. Hmm, Sintrak. Another ally protection champion. Uh, Samson, oh, I don't know. I, I think you love him or you hate him. I know a lot of people that love this guy. Um, for me, he didn't really do much for my account. He's just sort of average. Ragash, I love this champion, but yeah, I don't feel like this is the fight for him. So Wukong could be used on normal. I used Wukong on normal in the last fight because um, it doesn't... Uh, but the problem with him is if he's too squishy, he's just going to keep dying. But he does do an insane amount of damage on that A2. Taurus throws out a lot of poisons. Flesh Terror. Hmm... No, not not strong enough for this fight, I'm afraid. Steel Skull, um, one of the OGs, does a single target. I think, yeah, it's a single target cleanse, and it's a decent heal. Uh, does an AoE heal as well, and throwing out poisons on the A1. Pretty, pretty decent, but very, very old school. Bane. Bane can do a lot of damage, but I feel that she's going to be too squishy for this fight. Boros is new, but yeah, not the fight for him. Actum, yeah, throwing out poisons and hex. Could could be, yeah, you know, build him like in a sort of solo build, really loads of HP in regen. 
he could definitely be like a tank, the tank, the champion that tanks and deals the damage as well. Yeah, there's feeling like there's not a lot of options. So, damn, we're down to the last one, undead. So, Crypt King, you know, doing HP burn, bringing in decreased attack could be potentially a good option. I was thinking Rotos. Um, Rotos' passive gives him such good survivability. Um, and my Rotos, I think he's like sort of around 50k HP. He should be able to tank the boss. So I was actually thinking I'm going to bring in Rotos as mine. Also, if you've got him in uh, Bone Armor or the Blessing Warden of the Fallen, is a great way like he can just tank so much of the boss uh, also obviously he does insane damage with his a3 and a2 plus his a2 is gonna make him even more tanky it sort of heals him brings up his hp as well so yeah it's a good option he i think rotos is pretty solid for this sato i pulled sato recently yeah he's not gonna be good for this fight elagias again no, they're not really going to be helping us. Ah, oh, great fusion. More again. Um, so brings in the turn meter, turn meter, brings in turn meter boost, but also that all important heal reduction as well. So yeah, that is definitely going to um, bring loads of value. Definitely. I think she's like, if you've got her 100%, bring her into the fight. Decrease accuracy as well could be quite tasty. But yeah, I think that turn meter boost is really going to be handy. Uh, Bad L. Again, cleansing and poison. Just the upgraded version of Eurogrim. I was thinking about Ultimate Death Knight. Because um, he can tank those solo hits when the boss is in that other form. The only problem is though, is if he does use continuous heal, obviously it can be turned to heal reduction. Um, so... I guess if you time it right, he can, you know, he can do some nice healing, but obviously he's going to be deal different from an arena on with death Knight where we don't, we don't want to be a slow stone skin build. We want to be sort of probably T50 speed. So we can throw out those continuous heals. I don't feel like Sifi is going to be too good here. Um, yeah, she brings block debuffs, but she's not going to be able to cleanse. Um, I guess if she is built with enough resistance, then she can fill that role. But otherwise, it's a no from me. Of course, pair of Rotos, an insane combo. Um, Necred, yes. Yes to Necred. Like, Necred, a champion I wish I had. Obviously, he's sort of been power crep now because of Wukong and so many champions that sort of ignore... Um, he's like sh the shield passive that he brings now, but he's still still a great champion. I imagine he will be great for this boss. Euros, I think this champion is going to be a beast for this as well. Every time he gets hit, he's just going to be chucking poisons on the boss. Also bringing in that ally protection and strengthen as well. Um, and that's it really. And and the shield on his A1, which is kind of nice, but ally protection, strengthen. I'm sure mine's got like 100k HP. Um, so yeah, another solid option. And of course, hopefully he's going to be chucking poisons all day long on, on the boss. Cool, just, there doesn't look like there's going to be that many healers out there. I, I think, can Lich, no, no, he's not a healer. Uh, sorry, um, heal reduction. Yeah, Karam, Karam, I'm sh Oh, no, no, sorry, he's a HP. I thought he was Poison Explosion. Yeah, he can Poison Explode. So he's another potential, um, but I don't know. I've never used him, so I'm not sure how strong he is. Uh, Muscle and Mage, sort of, yeah, can cleanse and also bringing in that block debuff, but they're on separate skills, so not as strong, but still, still a pretty good champion. Uh, the only problem is it's one of those things where you start to bring in buffs, that can be used against you. It's all about timing. Uh, Vogoff will be a great option. Vogoff is an insane healer. Obviously, the boss is doing loads of AoE hits. Put him in um, a Guardian set. He's going to be healing the squad um, like an absolute boss. Yeah, and I think that's all the champions that I can think of. But yeah, like I said, guys, any champions that you think I've missed off the list, let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for watching. I've been The Real Deal. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.